At the end of the second century, the Han Dynasty was approaching the twilight of its existence after 400 years of continuous rule. People who felt unease with the corrupt government launched a large-scale revolt under the self-proclaimed Grand Master, Zhang Jiang. In response, the Han Dynasty sent orders out to the provinces to raise an army against the rebellion. At the time, Zhang Fei was trading in meat and wine, but relying on his great strength, he applied to join the volunteer army. This would prove to be a decision that would... with really doesn't seem all that dependable. I see that you have considerable confidence in your skill with a weapon, Zhang Fei. However, you cannot change the world with just a weapon. It takes something more than strength. Haha! <laughs> change the world, huh? I never thought about doing that even when I was drunk. But things have sure changed in this crazy world. A man can't go out and drink in peace anymore. Huh. We must stop the rebels and their uprising. It spreads like a sickness throughout the land. Well, those rebels will be plenty sick when I'm done with them. Those yellow turbans no. made a no. mistake when they got me angry. I'll teach them a lesson. for causing this rebellion. One force go east, the other west. We will catch the enemy between us. Across 
the back.
come for your head. That's another notch for my blade. There is no chance of me with you on our side.
Get the fuck in the phone! It's the right choice. You bum! decided that from this day forward I will tie my fate with Liu Bei to bring his vision to fruition. We would like to know if you would join us. You seem like the adventurous type. <laughs> well, it does sound interesting. All right, you can count me in. My name is Zhang Fei. You can call me Fei if you want. Turban Rebellion was quelled, the Imperial Court was corrupted by the infestation of the eunuchs, and later Dong Zhuo, and others eager for the throne. It was in such times that Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei met and became great friends. Together they took to the battlefield in the province of Xu. Liu Bei won the hearts of the people of Xu province, but was attacked by a survivor of Dong Zhuo's forces known as Lu Bu. He and his brothers escaped and sought assistance from Cao Cao with the intention to recapture Zhu. Zhang Fei felt as if his heart was ready to burst with thoughts of sweet revenge. Whatsoever they please, we're afraid that they will kill every one of us. Lord Liu Bei, I beg of you, we need your help badly. Please, save Xiao Pi from those monsters! That makes me mad. It's my fault. I let that fool Lu Bu get the best of me. Well, it won't happen again.
matter how strong it is. A ravening beast cannot move the land.
that sound?
danger myself. Boo boo, the rest I'm just <laughs> Xiaopi Castle, Zhang Fei and Liu Bei returned to Xu Chang with Cao Cao's army. Waiting for them there was news that Yuan Shu had acquired the Imperial Seal and was planning to claim the throne in Yang province. To the court, and specifically Liu Bei, who hoped to revive the name of the Liu family, it was unforgivable. Under the condition that Yuan Yu would stay with Cao Cao's army, Liu Bei borrowed a number of troops from Cao Cao and headed to attack Yuan Zhu. Do you think he's all right? Even a guy like you will have problems dealing with Cao Cao. Cao Cao treasures people of talent. Guan Yu will have no problems while he is there. If you must worry, then worry about Yuan Shu. I hear that he has gotten his hands on the Imperial Seal, and that with it he intends to call himself Emperor. He has profaned the Imperial Court. He's brought confusion to the land. This cannot stand. Zheng Fei, it is up to us to crush this ambitious traitor quickly. You're right. Guan Yu can wait. It's Yuan Shu we need to pay attention to right now. Watch out, Yuan Shu! Sao Sao put me in an unhappy mood, and now you're gonna pay! If you take away... Shall be the one to meet out the Emperor's justice. Under your hair? That cannot be allowed. 
I shall call down the justice of Mahan upon your head. The enemy is very strong. We are being forced back.
I have come to support the new Emperor. As a token of my loyalty, I propose taking Master Liu's head. The enemy is very strong. We are being forced back. Your Highness, are you okay? Allow me to drive off your enemies. Uh, what a disaster! I have no excuse for troubling you with this plan. We received a report from the scouts. Another unknown force is approaching. Four enemy reinforcements. Their numbers are Fight me now! Fuck the glory! Thank you for aiding us. I have come for your head.
have you done? Why would you know? It's a shame that the symbol of the land would mm. cause such loss of life. Liu Bei, and just what do you intend to do with the Imperial Seal? So you plan to succeed Yuan Shu and turn your treacherous ways against the Han? Don't be fools. I shall take this seal and return it to the Imperial family. You are a traitor, and you will die! Brother, it looks like you've been outmaneuvered. All those speeches of South Sal's were nothing but hot air. He said Yuan Shu was going to declare himself emperor. But his real plan was to draw you to Yuan Shu and kill you both. Hmm. It seems that I have been made a fool of by Cao Cao. I can't go back to Shu Chang. Fei, let's bide our time in Jing until we figure out what to do. Unbelievable. That Cao Cao tricks us and you're too nice of a guy to fight back? Frustrating. succeeded in pulling down the traitor Yuan Shu, but Cao Cao secretly plotted to eliminate Liu Bei. Beating back Cao Cao's assassins, Liu Bei and Zhang Fei escaped safely to Jin province with their soldiers in tow. Afterwards, Liu Bei improved his reputation in Jin and was even reunited with Guan Yu. However, Cao Cao was leading his massive army there to destroy Liu Bei. Once again, Liu Bei continued his fight bringing along the commoners and soldiers that revered him. Brother, how long are we going to have to run from those chasing us? Actually, Zheng Fei, I wouldn't define it as running away. Zhuge Liang has an excellent plan. We are to join with the Sun family. In order to do so, we must cross the Changjiang River. Besides which, I must avoid involving these commoners, who have placed their trust in me. Just can't stand it! I refuse to continue showing the enemy my back! Go and cross your river. I'll make sure that no one prevents you from getting Stop there. Stop it, Fei. I'm telling you, there is no purpose in fighting at this time. Who cares about a purpose? The only thing that matters is that I refuse to run away from a fight. Worry about the enemy, not me. Thinking about a good fight is improving my mood.
attack the people, your acts will not be forgiven nor forgotten.